Good morning, happy Sunday, and welcome back to Crafters TV. We are kicking everything off for you uh, with a craft fault, as we do, of course, every single morning from every single Sunday from here on in. And it's a really special one today because we're looking at core tools and giving you a fabulous discount discount on tools that we wouldn't normally give you a discount on so it's awesome definitely get yourself straight over to the website and have a look at everything that's coming up in the show now something else quite fabulous coming up in the show is the lovely debbie <laughs> uh, she's back with me again how are you debbie i'm fine thank you all nice and refreshed you ready and raring to go this Sunday morning, I didn't, I don't know, I didn't even know what date we're, Joe. I looked up to the, my clock this morning and then saw the date, I was like, Sunday already? How's that happened? Where's we are it on gone? Sunday, aren't we? We are on Sunday. It is yes, Sunday, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so ready and raring to go and we've got a great show as well lined up for you. Uh, yeah, it is indeed. There is loads packed into this show. Uh, and these craft file shows, they are fast, they are furious, they're just an hour long. Uh, and you're going to see some fantastic demos as well as awesome deals. Let's dive straight in and show you what's coming up in this show. Uh, the first item uh, that I wanted to share with you, uh, well, I was about to share it with you. It has gone already. Congratulations, you've got your hand on it. The adhesive collection has sold out. Uh, so if it's in your basket, please remove it. Uh, the next one I've got for you, these are the craft mats. Now these are absolutely awesome. These are perfect for when you don't have space for a big glass mat. Um, these are much more portable. You can roll these up, you can put these away, but you can still do all of those inky techniques on there and they protect your work surface as well, which is awesome. $14.98 or $22.42 your price on that one. Uh, we've got the small guillotine available for you on the show. It's small guillotine, I mean, it's still a very, very good size. Um, it's uh, an 8.75 inch cut platform 24.19 oh price uh, error there uh, 19.99 um, or 27 or 27.96 so 19.99 or 27.96 is your price on that one there so um, we'll get that change for you don't you worry about that now up next is the uh, straight knife tool collection that we've got here for you. So you've got uh, the craft knife, you're also going to get a replacement blade, you're going to get a self-healing cutting mat in here, and you're going to get the tweezers, the four-piece tweezer collection in there, which is awesome. Great price there for you on that, saving over a quarter. Now, mount board, something that I don't really know too much about, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I know it can go through your Gemini machine. However, the lovely Debbie is going to take us through this as we go through the show, which is awesome. Uh, so if you've been waiting for this to come back in stock, now is your chance. $23.97 or $35.97 is your price there. Now, uh, up next, watercolour cardstock is what we're going to be taking a look at next. $9.57 or $14.37. Uh, is your price here on this one. Gets you three packs, which is awesome. Uh, you've got 15 sheets in a pack, so 45 sheets total, which is brilliant. Uh, more card stock on the show for you as well. Uh, this is the Crafter's Companion Essential card collection uh, that you've got right here. £29 or $41. Uh, you've got the darks in there, the matte black, the craft card stock, the, uh, the white stamping card as well. A real uh, great collection of awesome card stocks there for you. We've also got some Tiffany on the show as well. Uh, some fantastic organization uh, for you uh, by way of our totally Tiffany buddy bags that we've got. Now, lots of you getting in touch already this morning and saying hello. Kerry is saying hi from Hampton, Virginia. I just made a card at 5.45 in the morning. Well, I salute you, Kerry. Um, Leanne is in from Northumberland. Gilmore's in from Michigan. Uh, Alison's here saying hello to everyone from Wales. And and Laura is loving Debbie's blouse as well, as am I. You're looking very colourful today, Debbie. I do <laughs> like it. Uh, we're going to move on and we're going to show you uh, some of the Totally Tiffany items that we've got on the show for you. So we've got four awesome buddy bags here. This first one uh, is Irene. Now, Irene is brilliant because what's great about Irene, if you've got short things in here, like your explosion powders like we have at the moment, absolutely fine. Uh, you can just pop this onto the lowest... Um, hook and eye setting. However, if you've got taller things like your, I don't know, your call out or purpose glues or your tacky glues, you can actually affix that so you get a little bit of extra room in there. So very versatile is our Irene. You're going to get Irene in there. You're also going to get Miral. Now Miral's great for sewing stuff, uh, ribbons, uh, spools of ribbon. She's also great for things like Tim Holtz inks too. Uh, so really nice usable. And Miral 
has got side flaps as well, which is awesome because it means stuff doesn't come out of the side, which is brilliant. Brandy, she's tall, she's long, she's leggy, she's a beauty, uh, and she loves rulers, basically, uh, as well as paintbrushes. Paintbrushes and rulers work in here. Again, she's got side flaps as well, so nothing's going to be toppling out of the side of there, which is awesome. Awesome. Also great for things like templates as well. If you like to use a lot of templates, you're gonna love using Brandy. Uh, the next one we have got here is this lovely lady just here, who is Gail. And Gail is great for storing things like your alcohol inks. That's what we have got stored here in Gail. Any of those, I mean, so many of you guys out there have different kind of, um, you know, pots and tubs and things. Also wonderful for storing all of your little jars of glitters and stuff like that as well, should you wish. £18.36 or £25.56 is your price here. 20% of the stock has already gone on that buddy bag collection, which is awesome. Right. Up next, uh, also club price on those, 14 69 or 20 45 So uh, definitely worth grabbing those if you don't have them in the club. Actually, do you know what? Probably worth grabbing them even if you do to get a second sample because, let's face it, you can never have too much storage, can you? Uh, the next thing we're going to look at is the Gemini machine itself. Now, the Gemini machine, of course, an absolute... Um, uh, well, you know, a world famous product. A Gemini machine is sold somewhere around the world. I think it's every less than every 10 minutes, which is absolutely uh, incredible. It is not available in the US, I'm afraid. It's only available in the UK. Uh, it's the global machine. You'll get all the plates that you need uh, with it. Uh, you'll get the, uh, the booklet, the manual with it as well. If you're a Club Inspire Platinum member, uh, you're already saving 18 pounds. You can save a little bit more because Platinum members, you can get your hands on this today for 129 pounds. 59. Should we take a little look what, at, at all the reasons why the Gemini is so fantastic? This is Gemini, one of the fastest, quietest electronic die cutting and embossing machines on the market. Its industry leading high pressure system delivers fantastic results from intricate dies and folders, all at the touch of a button. Its oversized opening and platforms provide for edge-to-edge -edge cutting of US letter and A4 size with thin metal dies, allowing you to cut materials such as thin cardstock, vinyl, craft metal and fabric. No cranking needed as it will move the plates through automatically and quickly, which means you may spend less time on preparation and more time on inspiration. The Gemini has optical switches, making it hands-free and fully automated, with a built-in auto-reverse function for protection. It's easy to use, so you're always in control. Its sleek low-profile design makes it a superb addition to any craft workspace. It has built-in handholds, meaning you can easily take it anywhere. The Gemini is a universal die-cutting and embossing machine that works with the majority of all leading brands of thin metal dies and embossing folders. All of the platforms that you need come included in the box, as well as a thick rubber embossing mat for intricate detail work on your dual-purpose cut and embossed dies. The addition of the metal cutting plate allows you to cut intricate dies in a single pass through the machine and enables you to cut multiple layers of fabric. For a perfect cut every time, you need Gemini, the electronic die cutting and embossing machine made by crafters for crafters. Absolutely incredible Gemini machine. We would not be without it here uh, in the studio. Uh, Anne Marie says, Hi everyone, first time watching from me. Uh, Anne Marie, it's so great to have first time viewers. Where are you watching from? Uh, Lorraine says, I love my large Gemini. I know lots of you uh, maybe have the junior will be upgrading today if you are here in the UK. Uh, you will, of course, get free postage on that. Now, no matter where you are, the most uh, common plates that we tend to sell online are our two cutting plates, which are these ones just here, and our plastic shim. Now, we've put together a fabulous deal for you on these because they should be, uh, if you bought them individually, £29.97. Club Inspire Platinum members today in the UK can get this for £16, which is awesome. They should be £44.85 bought separately in the US, $24.00 for Club Inspire Platinum members in the US. So you're looking at just over half price to stock up on the plates, the three plates that you will tend to replace the most. You don't replace them absolutely loads or all the time, that's not what I'm saying, but when it does come for, to replacing them, uh, these are the three that you will tend to replace. Uh, I think that's a pretty fair assumption, Debbie, isn't it? Absolutely it is, and I'll tell you what, it means you're getting one of the plates for free. That's what that means today. Fabulous. And that is a fantastic deal, which is why we do these things like Craft Vault, so you can get some really great bargains. So absolutely, definitely, you will need 
to re I'm saying you you said like not replace them often. You won't need to replace them often. It's just having that consumable ready because these are the consumable part. The machine fabulous machine i'll talk about that in a moment but these are the consumables so these at some point will need replacing or if you're like me i have a separate set of plates for paper craft and for multimedia and okay. there's a reason for that there is a reason for that but i'll talk about the machine itself the machine itself is the big daddy of them all for now <laughs> but it is the original it's the og joe the og the og that, well in that does that mean original in uh, kids the original doesn't it mean the original gangster it means what? It means the original gangster. The, the original gangster, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's call That's what it means when that. people say, oh, he's, he's such a G, it means a gangster. Oh, well, it is, it is the original. The this original is the OG. big bad boy. This is the big bad boy where the start of the family of the Gemini that we all know and love. And it's one, it is my go-to machine. It sits firmly at the side of my craft table. I never go, well, I say it never goes anywhere. I've got two. Not that I'm greedy. I have one in the car for traveling with and one that sits in my craft room but it is a lovely and it's still quite portable i mean i'm not super strong but that's still a portable machine sturdy legs on the bottom and when i say sturdy legs i've had machines in the past joe when i've put them on and i've literally had to chase my machine down the counter trying to get it when i've been <laughs> hand cranking it's not going to happen with a gemini no matter what you put in there that machine ain't going to move so those legs are really right nice important design to that but what else you've got in here is and we call this a true a4 plate it means it's slightly bigger than an A4, uh, but you've got this lovely super slim mouth. There are um, sensors in here, very clever intellectual machine, as daft as that sounds. There is two um, manual sensors that are in the machine and an optical sensor at the back. So it's one of those machines that's very clever. If, if you've got the wrong plate sam sandwich combination, I'm going to talk about those in a moment, um, then it will spit it back out. It won't accept it because it's a really super clever machine. Not only is it a clever machine, it's electronic electronic die cutting and embossing machine hence the name gemini the twin star sign is that right gemini twin star that's the one so yeah so it's because it's a dual functioning machine but i always say it's more than that joe because it's for paper crafters alike as well as all our sewists out there because it cuts multiple layers of fabric it cuts things like mount board so all your thicker denser materials it will also cut too um and it's it just is a fabulous machine it's literally flick of a button on and off and you'll see that little uh, when it's on illuminate there's a little flicker switch at the back that you put on so you can have it mine sits on the craft desk and i just turn the flicker switch off which i'll show you is at the back and i just turn that off so there's no electrical supply going through there which i think is a nice little safety feature uh, but like i say it's a touch of a button joe you press that on and off you have a play bu pause button which means you can pause this at any time and then this one here is the reverse function and honestly joe that reverse function button was a game changer for me do you know the machines that you have when they're hand cranking you've got to turn them forward and then turn them back you don't have to do that anymore with an electronic die cutting machine but like i said super super pressure in there unrivaled pressure as well and a machine that i've used now since it was launched because so have you it, had yours since before you worked here yes oh, i wow. had mine before i worked for crafters companion i uh, saw it when it was launched when i went to a, a show at doncaster and all those craft fair shows that we <clears throat> used to go to um one day we will return but i saw a, a lovely lady who was representing crafters companion and she was demonstrating it and i saw what it could do and what it could cut through and that blew my mind and i'm telling you i've never looked back and i have never ever changed my machine so plate wise shall we talk a little bit about yes, plates and combinations I've, I've got a few things here lined up to show you how to cut but i'm going to start you through and don't worry about this because although we have this here and it's always on that you can come back to and have a little peek through because they stay they, do they stay in the library don't they on the crafters tv don't worry because there is an instruction booklet in your uh, machine box so read that through as well because it's got some um you know all the all the instructions in there but i'm going to start with when it comes to embossing we said it's a dual purpose machine and i'm going to start back to embossing uh, things like with embossing folders joe so i'm going to do a very quick 101 we'll try and cram as much as we can awesome. in this next hour but when you're using standard embossing folders uh, all you will need joe are your two plastic plates and that's your cutting plates top and bottom sandwich it in between there and that's when we talk about sandwich it means sandwiching in between the plates and then you're just going to run that through your machine now like i said to you the brilliant function of this is it's got that reverse function you've also got that button where you can stop it and then start it up again you can stop it 
and you can reverse it as well, which I just think is really clever. Let me make sure I press that button down properly. Uh, but just reverse that through. Now, this is a standard embossing folder, two clear cutting plates. I'm going to talk about 3D embossing folders next. But when you open that up, oh, fabulous. And I'm going to show you edge to edge every single time, not a single part missing there. And I'm going to hold it there for George to zoom in so you can see just how beautiful that has embossed that standard embossing folder. I'm going to quickly talk about 3D embossing folders because we've got all these plates and why you need your extra plates. You've got your, uh, well, or in your machine itself, all the plates will come with it. You're not having to buy anything separate, but the consumable part is what you will need to get. And I'm telling you while it's on that deal, you practically get into two, three, three for the price of two. Absolutely. Is that, is that, there's a term for that when you say that. It's a great mm. saving, honestly, it really is. 3D embossing folders though, combination wise, you're going to use these two. So you've got your plastic shim and your magnetic shim. Remove one of the cutting plates and then you've got your 3D embossing folder. Made of a thicker plastic because it's got more depth and dimension. But when you're using this now, the plate combination for that is, first of all, clear put cutting plate down. You're going to sandwich your uh, material, so like your cardstock, inside the embossing folder. Pop on the top your magnetic shim and then and this one acts as the top plate. Please okay. don't be tempted, Joe, because I've seen it before, where you think, oh, you've talked about plate combination, I'm going to run that through, or I'm going to I'm going to change it up a little bit and I'm going to put the metal shim on there. Don't do that because the metal shim, when it contacts the metal rollers, you're going to end up with a great big banana. And I've known because I've done it myself. So a combination, cutting plate, embossing folder, magnetic shim, plastic shim, and run that through your machine. And you just let that do all the hard work for you. This is just embossing. And don't think of all the other things that you can emboss. You'll have seen our Sarah where she's embossed tissue paper, um, acetate, vellum. There's all sorts of different materials that you can um, actually emboss. But look at the beautiful detail that you get on a 3D embossing folder. And that's the plate combination when it comes to 3D embossing. So absolutely fabulous. So, that is talking just with embossing folders. Okay. Shall we do a quick? Um, shall we do a quick one with an intricate die? Yes. Let's I do an intricate so. die. So intricate dies. Now in your booklet there will be a different way to this, but you'll see many of us here at Crafters Companion, myself, Fiona, Debbie, Craig, Jan. We all we all do our own thing when it comes to die cutting, and you'll see majority of the time what we do is we place things down onto our cutting plate, but the instruction booklet has it the other way around. So okay. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, Joe. I'm going to do it. The, I'm going to do it the instruction way, just so you can see this. Clear cutting plate, plastic shim, magnetic shim, and let me tell you about the magnetic shim. What's so wonderful about this magnetic shim is, is you've got these grids on here. You've got inches, you've got centimeters, and on this side, you've got card sizes on here too. So if you want to place something on an eight by eight piece of cardstock, you can pop that onto there. And then you can place your die, band smack in the middle and make sure that you get that right to wherever you want. And that's the same for any of the cards, whether it be an A2 uh, in the U US side or an A6 on the UK side. Lots of different ones on there. But for this purpose, what this is going to do now is hold my die into place because it's magnetic. So I'm going to pop that and I'm going to do it deliberately in the middle. And I'm just going to pop on there now. And it's, this is holding it down with the blade facing upwards. You're going to place your cardstock on the top. And then you're also going to put on there your other cutting plate. And all we're going to do, Joe, is we are going to run that through the machine. No right or wrong way. That's the booklet way, the instruction booklet way. But we, when you see us as demonstrators, we all do things different. What I'm going to show you again, though, Joe, is when you pop that in, you can reverse it at any time. And what it's also doing is getting an extra little cheeky cut. It's fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. But like I said, Plate-wise, that extra plate combination is a fantastic deal today that we've got on. It's not often that we do this. Two clear cutting plates and a plastic shim. You definitely, um, honestly, while it's on at that price, you're buying two but getting three. That's mm. what you're doing, basically. But honestly, it's just fabulous. Now, this is a very intricate die. Look at this. Oh, it's Look almost how fabulous just all that falling out, that. isn't it? Absolutely incredible. Let me go there and George can come in so you can really see it. Really awesome. Cut through there perfectly. That's one of my old creator cards that I bought. But that's just showing you how you can do it. And that's just very quickly 
a little 101 and we'll do it we'll try and cover a little bit more um as we're going along in the show okay awesome so let me just give you both those sets of details again uh, if you're going for the plates the details are on your screen right there 20 pounds or 30 dollars become 16 pounds or 24 dollars which makes them pretty much half price which is absolutely awesome if you want to go for the machine itself it's sold out in the us it is available in the uk uh, its usual price is uh, 179.99 would be its usual price. The today price is 161.99. If you are a platinum member, you're actually saving over 50 pounds, makes it 129 pounds and 59 pence. So a great day to stock up and go for that, which is absolutely awesome. Now, lots of other stuff on the show for you. I wanna share with you the essential card collection that we've got, which is on here, and it really is all of our hero products. So a craft card stock, A4 size, 200 uh, GSM, so 280 GSM, you'll get 50 sheets of this one, which is awesome. You've also got our stamping card. Now, we call it stamping card, it should be called everything card, because you it's a real sort of versatile, all round card weight. Yes, you can stamp on it, you can die cut it, you can emboss it, you can use it for construction if you wish as well. Then we have the matte black card stock, one of the absolute favourites for you as well. This one is 300 GSM, you're going to get 40 sheets of that one in there also, and it wouldn't be an essential card pack without having uh, some of our gorgeous Centura Pearl in here, would it? So we're gonna give you the Centura Pearl in the darks, which has got the lovely purples, those browns, those blacks, and those silvers in there as well. You've got 40 sheets of that one coming your way. You should be looking at 39.96 or 59.96 if you're in the US over today. 29 pounds or 41 dollars if you want to get your hands on that one. Right, I'm just gonna give you the details for the mount board because this is coming up next with our Debbie. Uh, and I, it's not something that I've been familiar with before. You get 30 sheets of this. Uh, so you're getting three packs here for 23.97 or 35. 97. It is really busy. Uh, I know this has been out of stock for a long time, this Debbie, something that we haven't had for a while. What is Mountboard and what are we going to do with it? Right, this is Mountboard and it's like a stiff, it's like a stiff card. It's like got a foam core inside there, but it's great for things like preserving things. Do you know if you want something stiff to, to stiffen up with, like if you're using, uh, I, I know a lot of people use it for uh, popping on like photos uh, when you want to keep it nice and stiff the same with um i'm trying to think of other things you can put on here posters people use it i tell you who loses it a lot schools and things like that they use it but as a crafter i use it a heck of a lot and now it's back in stock let me tell you i'm going to be buying two or three packets because i love the stuff it is super super tough can you hear that joe it's like banging oh. on a door can you so hear does it? it feel like wood does it have like a texture of wood almost then not quite wood because okay. you've still got that flexibility in there but it is super super strong and you can do things like die cut with it got me very trusty ah. great big beautiful in fact i'm going to use one of the darker colors so you can see this because not only can you die cut with it and i'm going to use, just chop this down because i don't want to be wasting why am i automatically thinking we could make your very own uh schmetterling statement earrings with this debbie oh absolutely you Couldn't could you? because you've got that stiffness you, in there, right yeah. pair of you could pop a little old punch in there and have them dangling from you yeah i could just see you joe actually oh me no i was thinking for you mine aren't pierced you'd have to get clip-ons but then i'll be fine <laughs> Joe, you make me laugh. <laughs> right, when it comes to mount board though, this is thicker, dense. You know what I said right back at the beginning that the Gemini can do lots of things for paper grafters, lots of things for sewers, because you can cut multiple layers of fabric. I'm going to try and squeeze that in in a bit. Uh, lots of different types of materials like, do you know your glitter fabric? Have you ever seen Bernie on one of the shows when she cuts all different things? Yeah, that's what it can do. But it can also cut thicker materials like Milo, uh, plastics and things like that. Mount board, absolutely fabulous for. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to pop it down onto there. Now, I'm using a multimedia die. Now, you do get a multimedia die with the, um, with the Gemini. Oh, you awesome. You get these beautiful shapes. They're perfect for like things like your quilts, quiltings and things like that. Uh, but I'm just going to use my butterfly because I want to show you. I love this butterfly. I honestly use it ever such a lot. But popping that onto there. Now, I'm just going to use a bit of tape, Joe. Let me just grab a piece of tape, low tap tape, just to hold it into place because I don't want it moving. We all know the power of the Gemini. It's incredibly strong. But what you're going to do for anything that's made of a thicker, deeper, uh, like up to four mils, this will, will cut through. So you're, you're talking quite a nice depth. You don't need as many plate combinations so if you can see what i've got here <laughs> plastic shim 
sorry, cutting plate, plastic shim, and the other cutting plate. And that's all you need to use. Now, when you pop that through, Joe, you're going to run that through. Now, if you was to put things like your metal shim in there or your uh, magnetic shim, yeah. might be too much pressure. I always like to, like to start with the lower pressure when it comes to die cutting. You can always build your sandwich up if it hasn't done it. But what it does is preserves your plates. It gives you long, more longevity um, if you get the right combination first. But what it does is, I mean, look at that. And that was only using those three plates. That was using the two clear cutting plates and the plastic shim. Awesome. And Obviously is that the recommended sandwich. sandwich for that? That's the sandwich for a multimedia yep. die with a thicker material. And look at that. You can see the texture on there. It's quite a thick board, but it's cut that through perfectly. And I'll tell you something else about mount board. You can, you can emboss it. And a lot of people think, can you really? Oh, can really? Can you really emboss it? Absolutely you can. So I'm telling you what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab my um, embossing fold. I'm going to go with the 3D one. Let me make sure I've got that the right way around. Yep. So I'll pop that back in. Going back to that 3D plate combination, if you remember, clear cutting plate, put your sandwich in there, and then you're going to have the, uh, the magnetic shim and the plastic shim acting as the top plate. And we're going to run that through as well. And then mount board, like I said, Jan uses it a lot. I use it a lot, especially in multimedia products. You know, your mixed media projects. Looks absolutely fantastic fabulous in your die cutting you you know you could do it in your card making as well and things like that so absolutely and then when you look at this look can you see there can you see that embossing so if I go go frontwards let's see if George can come and zoom in if I might be able to see that a little bit better can you see that embossing Joe that's embossed a thick card because awesome. let's just get this right this is a thick gsm this is because it tell you on the front there the actual gsm the gsm of, this, of the mount board the mount board is super super thick it's got that uh, hole in the no center. i don't think it has a gsm just fabulous i know you're that. getting 10 sheets five colors two of each color but no no gsm absolutely fabulous but mount board and you can, you can not only die cut it, you can emboss it What would too. you do with it, Debbie? What me, would, I'd use it in my projects. I'd pop it in me. So I'd, if I were doing like a canvas or anything like that, I probably would. But these look beautiful on card fronts as well. So you okay. can decorate your card fronts up, your own deco, tags. Great idea, Laura. Ooh, She's been swimming me tag. tags. Absolutely. You love a tag, Joe. Always. Uh, but you could. You could hole punch that through and then have it as a tag or anything like that. Just think it's absolutely fabulous. Mount board is one of those great ones to have. And if you do like mounting pictures, hence mount board, if you want to mount a picture on there, you can then use your craft knife. We've got craft knife coming up later. Uh, you just need to cut that around there and you can frame it. So super, super strong but very versatile, lots of different ways you can use it. And I'm glad it's back in stock because Debbie now can build up her supply of mount board again because I was running rather low and now I'm, not, I'm, gonna, have, I'm gonna have enough there. A awesome. great deal that's on at today. It's absolutely fabulous. Yeah, it is a great deal. Make sure you grab it. You've got a great saving there uh, on that one. You're getting 30 sheets in there, which is brilliant. In each pack, you get 10 sheets, five colors, and two of each, which is fantastic. So uh, up next, Nina Cardstock is on the show. Now, I know we often bring things to you sometimes on a multi-buy. It's actually better value than the multi-buy today. So you can get three of these. So you're getting, what, 48 sheets here of this for nine pounds or thirteen dollars, which is absolutely awesome value for money. It is the perfect cardstock to be using uh, with all of your alcohol coloring. So I know so many of you love your coloring. This is the perfect cardstock that you need because it has got the right um, texture on that paper, so it's not going to drink in all of that ink, which is awesome. Right up next. We have got some blending tools for you on the show. Now, in this configuration, you are going to get the two blending tools that we bring to you. So you've got the square one, and you've also got the round one there as well. You're then going to get as well the two refills that go with this, which is absolutely awesome. You've got the blending eggs, which are not called that, are they? What are they called? They're called mini blending sponges. <laughs> I call them blending eggs. They look like eggs to me. And you're also going to get the spritzers in here as well. £17 or $22.50 if you want to get your hands on those. 30% off there on that. And now, something else which is awesome are the craft mats. Now, we've got a great deal on two of these. These are awesome. If you know, like, the big 17 by 9 um, glass plates that you see all of our craft experts using here in the studio, they're brilliant and awesome. If you've got a dedicated craft desk or you've got a dedicated craft room that you work on, if, however, like a lot of uh, crafters out there, you maybe are crafting on the kitchen worktop, you're crafting on your dining table, you can't really put them away. These are awesome.
awesome because they give you that space to work on. They protect the, the um, surface that you're working over, but you can roll them up and put them away afterwards, which is awesome. And you've got 25% off on these ones here as well, which is fantastic. 14.98 or 22.42 there as well. Did you have you got perfume in one of those spritz tools over there? <laughs> Did you just, just be holding it up, <laughs> checking what was in it? I, I wouldn't be surprised. Did you see me I'm, I I'm be just surprised checking, I've got water in there. Have you so got... I started spritzing. I always check as well that the hole is away from my face because I once did that live on air. I picked it up to spritz, to spritz in the hair and spritz straight onto my glasses oh, so I couldn't no. see what I was doing. So why, what are you checking for? Have you got gin in one of them? <laughs> or oh, your favourite perfume? No, no, no. Just plain old fashioned okay. water. <laughs> I love that, Joe. That's funny. Uh, but what I've just done is I've got myself some watercolour cardstock and I've got myself a few inks here. Blending tools would not be without them. And this is a personal choice on what you like. But I tell you something, if you get in every... It, uh, does, does all three of them come in that one bundle? Yeah. You don't need to choose no more. Let me tell you now, they will all have a job for you. And it depends on what... I always say it depends on the mood that I'm in. I'll tell you why I love my sponges, because sometimes I, I suffer with carpal tunnels. So for me, these are lovely. They're just nice and soft. And you can apply either the chunky end or the lovely um, precision end, that I call it there. And who said that they were makeup sponges in me? <laughs> they are a bit like a makeup sponge. If you want to use one, you can use it for your makeup too, if you want. Just saying. But then we've got, now I know we get this called a lot, but we've got the round one here. So if you can see this one, you've got your round edge. And this one's got those that you can take off as well. And they come in a lovely pack of 10. So you get two that are in the blending pack, in the pack that comes, and then you get 10 separate ones as well, which means multiple uses that you can use them for different colours, but you can also wash them as well. Stick them in one of those wash bags. Do you know what I mean, Joe? Those mesh bags. Yeah, or if you want to case, clean maybe. them. Yep, yep. Or, or you could uh, just keep them. And what I tend to do on mine at home, I've got... Um, Velcro dots under yep. each one and they've got their own for each one uh, but that's just because I'm a little bit weird in that respect that I like everything to have its own uh, family however you've got the square one now I know people will be looking at the screen now Joe and saying that's not square it's rectangular but what we're just trying to put you do, give you the difference between is the circular to the square okay now I've the got square one's not square though is it it blows my mind every time <laughs> the, the day I found out the square one was actually rectangle I yeah. thought that my whole life had been a lie up until that point Debbie <laughs> <laughs> did. So I'm going to bring my inks in and I'm going to use all three. So I'm going to use the spongy and I call it a spongy. It's a little latex. Um, what does it, what's the description on the, the pack, Joe? The sponge? The sponge. What's Let me have a look, see for you. What's it says, small yet perfectly formed. Uh, these compact sponges are great for smooth, controlled blending. Perfect for use with water-based inks and other media. Oh, of course, because the, I'm using the water-based inks here. But you can use these on the quick dry. You can use them on the pigment ink ones as well. Uh, but you can see the coverage that you get is just fantastic. And I'm just dotting around because I'm going to put a few colours on here, Joe. But I'm going to use each one of the... Um, applicators because that's what these are they're ink applicators whether it be in the spongy form and whether it be in the sh you know the short one but what I'm just doing now is uh, that I've got my yellow down I've got to go in with the orange and I'm going to use the um, and there's a couple of ways you'll probably see our Sarah pop a little bit of ink down onto the craft mat and I'll tell you why I use my craft mat a lot as well Joe it means you can get that super smooth um, application when you're using your inks whether you go straight in with your ink pad or whether you pop it onto here a messy craft Mat. mine at home is i don't even show you what mine at home looks like it's got all it sorts dirty? on there it is dirty but you can clean it with our sticker it's called not stick away uh spray wait, wait a minute what's it called the me blue one spray away um, Sp stick spray away, away. Uh, stick, stick, stick i want to say stick away but it sticks the wrong way isn't it no it's stick, stick away stick away stick away it yeah. is stick away i should have gone with my gut instinct but you can clean up your mats. But you can, I do lots of it. If you ever see me on an inky show, I usually chuck everything on my mat. So I've got my inks on there and everything. And it's just a great, a great addition. Now, I'm going to go back in now. So on my applicator, I'm going straight in. Now, I'm using the uh, circular one. And again, you can see I'm using it in circular motions. And it's still covering just as good as what the... Um, as what the spongy did. So again, I'm just going to go in. And you can still get your beautiful blending as well, Joe. Let me pop some ink down here so that you can see when I pop it on my ink mat, I pick that up 
and I'm just going straight in there and start to start to give it a nice little blend. So again, I'm just going to go all the way around, add in a bit of colour. But again, it's just showing you that they can do lots of different things with them. Now, you can also use these for applicators for things like, if you don't like getting messy, do you know, with gilding waxes, you can use these for your gilding waxes as well. And a, awesome. a lot of people don't think of that. They would always think of applying a gilding wax with a finger. But I know that there's crafters out there that don't like getting, me they don't like getting messy. They don't like that, so use, use your applicators for that as well. Now I'm going to go in with the square one and I'm going to go, let's have a bit of purple on here. We're going with crushed velvet again. So let's just bring that up and again, either apply it directly on or just, <clears throat> look at that, studio, it's to make sure we don't take, a, to, <coughs> to make sure we don't take ink, ink away. I just saw you get that one out of your bag. <laughs> Joe, are you trying to get me into trouble? No, you? never. I mean, I'm just, just, you know. So again, you can see. Now, the, what I love about the square one, you can see the difference, obviously, instantly, is the surface area. So when you're picking up with this one, you can go into your smaller projects if you want, but you can use a larger surface, and that's why your square one is going to come in really handy, because it covers heck of a lot straight away, and you can see that by just applying the ink on there. You can still get your perfect blends, and you can go back in at any one time with any of the others. So there's no right or wrong way, but they are really useful to have these, Joe. Really useful. And I'm just going to use the three. And we're going to use a, a parakeet as well, but I've changed my mind now because I quite like this one. Um, and then you're going to use your things like your uh, spritzers as well. Now, I'm just making a bit of an inky background here at the moment. Let's go back in with the orange. And you can keep applying, adding more you'll and blending the colours. And um, you'll find all of the ink pads over on our website as well. I know we've just restocked on a lot of the, the ink pads, so do pop over there. Uh, over there and have a look at those um lots of you chatting away this morning as well Anne marie lets us know she is watching us from devon uh susie t says how many buddy bags in that bundle uh, there's four buddy bags in the bundle there as well allison says uh, i love my gemini all three versions sarah bound says um i love my big daddy gemini she calls it jemmy oh i like Anybody that down? that's it that's a cracking name a jemmy yeah. i like that one now then, you've got your spritzers as well. Did I notice that the spritzers were on the show as well? So the spritzers, you fill them up. Are they in the same bundle? In the same bundle, get Debbie. Get away, So Joe. you get the what? blenders, the blender refills, you get the uh, blending eggs, and you get the spritzers all uh, together. Amazing. And you get, is it four spritzers in the pack, if I remember four rightly? Four spritzers, indeed. Four spritzers. Would and you like me to read you what it says on the back of the spritzers? Yes, please, I'm, Joe, I'm quite yes, taken please. by the back of the packaging now. With just a few sprays from these Mr. Pens, you'll get a unique and interesting result every time. Use for misting water onto wet colour or make your own custom colour and dilutions, then spray directly onto the surface. Suitable for use with any water-based media. I love there that description. Go, and because you get four, I use water in one of mine and then the other one, I can, uh, well, I've got two of the spare ones. There's quite a few sp filled up in the bag there. Uh, but you can make your own custom inks. Do you know things like, do you know you just showed the uh, powders and things like that? You could put powders in with water in. You could put yes. our inks in. So you, do you know sparkle inks? Yeah. Fill up with water, drop a few pieces of... Um, pieces drop a few droplets of uh, sparkle ink in there and then you can use it as a mister or a spray which i think is absolutely fabulous and that means you get a really good coverage as well now the spray itself i'm just going to use this to spray over the top but use it quite when i say mis what's the word Mist, not mistily. What's the word I'm looking for, Joe? Just spray it sparingly. I can't think of another word to use. Just the little or, spritz. <laughs> just let it spritz. Or you could just chuck water onto there. Now I'm just chucking it on. Well, Look that's not daintily it, and mistily. Get, like. <laughs> that one weren't dainty, was it? Did you see it? Uh, but literally, you can use that. And like it, it says, you can create lots of things. I love having those water misters in there. Uh, but the difference that you get is just, look at this. Look how gorgeous that is. And that's because I'm using the water reactive inks. And I've got myself a lovely, and I'm just going to wipe this up because again, and this is another thing as well. When you have things like your inks on your mat, you can do lots of little squishy techniques and stuff like that, picking inks up uh, so that you're not wasting anything. But you can see just how lovely that is with the colours, putting those on. Each one of the tools has its own place. But whether you, and it, it's like I said, this time we're not even making you choose. You've got that lovely squeezy spongy, which is nice and 
you get a nice grip into there you've got your lovely circular one um, and again it will cover large areas as well as small but if you've got this big tool use your large surface areas for that one and then you've got all of the extras to use and don't forget you're not getting just one but you're getting four spritzers in there as well and I just think what a cracking deal a cracking price uh, you've got to say I, lo I love craft fault shows let me tell you Joe because this is where you can get your bargains it really is and that is a bargain and mm. it's one of those essential tools it that really I definitely is. would say have in your crafty stash. Yeah, and it's on a great price, you're saving 30%. So remember what you're getting in there, you're going to get the two blending tools and you're going to get uh, the replacements for both of those as well. Uh, so you're going to get both of those and then you'll get the uh, replacements as well. So you've got your square one, you've got your round one and the replacements for both. Uh, you're then going to get in there as well the misters, which are awesome. And you're then getting those blending eggs as well. Great price on that for you there. Must do some comments. Loads of you chatting away uh, in the comments. Uh, Sally says, oh, look at those lovely new plates. I have new plate envy. Well, maybe today is the day to get yourself stocked up on some. Susie says, I love my Gemini OG. I use it more than anything else. I especially like my Gemini Junior plates with my OG machine. That's its new name now, Debbie. You've started something. June says, I have two sets of backup plates. I love it when Graphs Companion have them at a great price. Jan says, hi, Debbie and Joe. Just here from a freezing cold Ravello, trying to get warm. How cold is it though, Jan? Because I am guessing that in Ravello, it is not as cold as it is today in Newton Aycliffe. But let's, let me know uh, what the temperature is there. Uh, Lorraine says, I have some Centuri Pearl from Crafts Companion. It's such a lovely card top, brilliant to use. Um, we've got the Centuri in this show. I must let you know there's some A3 coming up later in the next show as well. Uh, so make sure you come back and have a look at that. Um, Veronica says, good morning. Uh, love being here and learning. Um, and Sally wants to know, Debbie, did you... Sally wants to know, Debbie, did you find your scissors in the car park? No. <laughs> Oh, I'm so upset. I didn't go out with my torch last night. I just don't know where they are. And it's my biggest pair of scissors. And I, I use those all the time. So I'm a little bit gutted. Uh, I'm just going to have to buy some more, Joe. That's oh. all I'm going to have to do. It's one of those things. Things happen in life sometimes that throw these challenges at us. So, yes, just going to buy some more. Oh, well. You know, that's life. Sometimes you lose your big scissors. What can I say? But you can replace them. It's not the end of the world. Uh, don't forget as well, if you do want to deal on the ink pads, all the deals are still live from Colour Me Happy. So, Colour Me Happy. Colour Me Happy, happy. even. I've got a very Essex there. Colour Me Happy. Uh, you can go back and have a look at those deals uh, on our website from Friday's show. Very busy still on the cutting plates. Remember what you're getting here. Clear, two clear cutting, two clear cutting plates. And you're getting that plastic shim in there as well. And these are the three plates that you will use the most. So of the plates that need replacing, these are the ones that are going to need replacing first. It's great to grab them whilst they're on a great deal. They're 9 99 each normally. However, you can get all three for £20 today, which means you're saving a third, uh, which is an awesome deal on that. Now, we have got a great deal on some Tiffany Buddy Bags for you. The Tiffany Buddy Bags, well, since we launched the whole Totally Tiffany range, the Buddy Bags have really been the hero tool. This is Irene. Irene is great because those explosion powders that you were just talking about, Debbie, a moment ago, that you could put in your spritzers, this is them. So we've got those stored in here. However, if you wanted to store something taller, like your glues, for instance, your chunky glue in your all purpose, you can actually make that a little bit higher. So it's completely up to you. She's a very versatile lady, is our Irene. Let's pop that in there. This is Miral, and Miral is fantastic for lots of different things. We've got spools of ribbon uh, in here. She's also great for uh, all your different sewing and quilting tools, uh, your bone folders, things that you turn through. She's got side flaps as well, which is wonderful, so it means nothing's going to escape, escape from there. Brandy is tall, she's long, she's leggy, she's beautiful. That's what we always say about her. She has got uh, rulers in here. So if you love rulers, um, again, the side flaps on the side here, so make sure everything stays in. Brilliant for things like your rulers. Also great for paint brushes. Now, obviously, we've got some paint brushes in here. Uh, you might have some longer ones. It's completely up to you what you want to do. But you can store absolutely lots in there. Anything that's long and thin, it's going in brandy. Uh, and then what we've also got here as well is Gale. Uh, and Gale at this point has, Gale's great for all of those sort of inky bits. Um, also wonderful for all of your 
jarred inks as well. If you want to store your jarred inks in here, you can um, layer them up on top of each other, things like your uh, sparkle inks as well. So really, really awesome. Very, very usable, very versatile set. They've all got uh, that hard plastic shell in the base of there. What um, Tiffany's top tip as well, you see we've got the labels in. Cut the labels out and put them in the bottom of your bag so you know that when you come to reorder any of your bags, you know exactly which one uh, it is that you are using. Grab those because they're on a 30% saving and that very, very rarely happens here at Crafters TV. Um, I don't know, a lot of you will be coming back. I can hear some of you, oh, sorry. Some of you actually multi-ordering on that at the moment. The guillotine or the guillotine, as you guys call it in the States, uh, this is on the show today uh, with a great saving as well. We've amended that price for you, $19.99 or $27.96, pounds, or $27.96, I should say. It's brilliant, this, because it's got metric and imperial measurements on here. Uh, you've got that fantastic steel blade, a nice big platform, and we can score on this as well, Deb Debbie, can't we? As well as um, cutting and trimming. It is. So it's one of those versatile ones. And especially if you craft on the go or, you know, you, you haven't got your, your scoreboard to hand or anything like that. I love Lillian had decided we're going to bring a guillotine out. But we're not just going to bring a guillotine out like other companies. It's just a guillotine. That's it. She wanted to make it a multifunctional board that you could use. And that's exactly what this is, because this is a workable scoring board as well as a guillotine, which I just think makes it stand out like from any other thing that's on the market. So and not like you see, you can, if you look at the uh, the um, platform itself, you can see you've got a large platform. So it goes up to six and a quarter in um, length. But in depth and height, it goes to 8.75, which I just think is absolutely fabulous. So it's eight and three quarters to uh, you and I. It's got the inches on the bottom part of the ruler and centimetres on the top part of the ruler, which again, it's always great to have that choice, Joe, because not everybody is the same. I personally prefer inches, but there are other people that like to work in centimetres and that's fine, but you want something that reflects that. So this is a great board for that reason. And at the very top, you can see as well, you've also got your scoring tool that sits nice and neatly in the board itself so you're not going to lose anything because it just clips back into place you've got a self-sharpening blade now you can hear it can you hear it that's oh, not yeah. just for a reason it's a self-sharpener so oh. every time you slice it up and i'm not cutting anything so how clever is that that it self-sharpens as well and you have a removable safety guard here so that you can clean this at the moment i can see <laughs> i can see this glitter on here so dirty? you can remove this is it yours no, no, oh. this is the studio one, so I'm not going to get blamed for it. Who can we blame today? Who can we blame today? Should we blame Craig? He's not no, watching it. Sarah, behind. it's either you, and if you're not, you're, it's always you that I blame. And if you're not here, it's Sarah, that's it. It's that Sarah then. Sarah. That Sarah, what's she like? What's, what's she like? She like? <laughs> but what I'm going to show you is that precision cut each one. So measured increments are every quarter. So one here, you can see there's a quarter there. But what you're going to do is you're going to place it in. Now the handle lifts up and it stays up. That's a great safety feature as well. And you've got that plastic grip there so that you're not having to worry about where, you, you, know, you know, when you put that on, you can hold that into place and it's going to hold it. So you're not having to put your fingers down and, you know, worry about slicing your fingers. What I am going to say is this blade is super sharp. If you think of what I've just shown you, it's a self-sharpening one. So just be aware of that when you are using it. And don't be clumsy sticking fingers underneath it. Now, if I just talk, show you, I'm going to go using my inches at the top here. I'm going to measure this to six inches. You pop that onto that line. You hold the grip down and you literally motion... <laughs> And can you hear that most satisfying of cuts and it's precision cutting as well and i'm going to show you when i talk about precision cutting i'm going to move it on uh, a quarter of an inch you're just going to do a fly's eyelash yeah you could do look at I me mean, look at that you can see it now when i show you there look at that that move that one out of the way that perfect absolutely quarter of an inch increment absolutely perfect each and every time and i love that so you can just carry on and look at that there's nothing more satisfying than that beautiful noise. <laughs> how pathetic am I? But I just think how gorgeous is that that you can do that? And literally, you've got you can make precise. All your own strips, Debbie. Do you know if you'll do things like uh, quilling? These are going to make perfect quilling. Yeah. You're going to be able to do your own quilling strips. Don't be buying quilling strips anymore. Make your own because you've got this beautiful guillotine that every single time you use it. But I haven't mentioned what else it can, well, I did mention it at the beginning, but I haven't shown you what it can do, is that scoring board feature. So when you lift this off, now I've got a sit, I've got, I've cut that to six. I'm just going to go down now using in the centre of there, onto that third, you're going to use your tool, score that down, 
lift it off and look at that jaw absolutely perfect i've got myself a nice little name uh, place mat uh, there but perfect cut and a perfect precision uh, fold as well talk about a hero tool that does more than one thing joe this is absolutely incredible it is a beautiful guillotine and when i say that it's that precise cut that precision cut it self sharpens it's also got that incorporated scoring board on there which makes it for me one of the versatile things i never leave home without mine mine's in the car ready for going down to peterborough later today i take it with me everywhere because it's something that i use the whole time lightweight and portable as well you can easily slip that into your one of your uh, tiffany bags that beautiful lois bag it will fit into there just great thing to have and it wouldn't be ever off my craft desk let me tell you now uh, would you cut mount board that uh, guillotine do you think now, mount board's a different, it's a different medium, so I wouldn't put mount board in there. Okay. I would use your craft knife with your mount board. We have a great craft knife deal on, don't we, Joe? Oh, okay. We'll be having a look at that in a second. Uh, Sue says, an amazing team being in lockdown and isolation. CC is keeping me going. Sue, I will level with you. You're keeping me going. I had three weeks over Christmas, and uh, I must say I missed you all more than life itself. Uh, Pam says, uh, that's a good idea, Debbie. Need to do uh, one with my round ones. Uh, Crafty Vera says, I love everything I've ever bought from Crafts Companion, even the hot glue gun, which I'm not as careful as I should be. Uh, Lynn says, I use the round blending tool the most, and just like Debbie, I've used Velcro to attach a pad under each of my ink pad. Um, loving all the colours, says Josie. Um, Lynn says she needs to do more of her own backgrounds. Carol Coe, the lovely Carol Coe, says, my favourite days are the messy crafting days, creating backgrounds. Um, Lynn says, I love the sound of a guillotine cut. It is very, very satisfying, isn't it? Uh, and Crafty Vera says, I bought a small guillotine for my MIL. She is not on my mother-in-law. I wonder what that was then. Um, we've got the OG to the, from the OG to the MIL. I mean, we're just so street today, honestly. <laughs> Debbie's going to start crumping in a moment. Um, a what? She's not a crumping. Oh, I thought it's you like said a, something It's else. like a dance move, apparently. I thought you said something completely different there. What? I've never heard of the word crumping. What did does you crumping thought I said, mean? Did you think I said trumping? I did indeed. You That's did, what I'm saying. I knew you did. You cheeky devil. Uh, anyway. On my Sunday morning. <laughs> Crafty Vera's M-I-L. Uh, she's not a paper crafter. She uses it to precision cut her cross-stitch Ada down. She has oh. arthritis and finds it a brilliant help. What a great way of using it. Uh, loads of you chatting away. Remember, an action-packed day coming up. Masterclass after this with myself and Debbie. Second chance Sunday with myself and Craig. And then second instalment of Craft Vault. You're going to have another chance to get your hands on these deals a little later. I must quickly whiz back through the card, essential card collection we've got for you on the show because you get the craft card stock in here, which is awesome. For, uh, you've got... Uh, 50 sheets in there, 280 GSM. You've got the stamping card, 60 sheets at 300 GSM. You're also going to get as well the matte black card stock. That's awesome because you've got 40 sheets at 300 GSM. And as well, I mean, it wouldn't be an essential card bundle without uh, some, some send, bloop, 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 some centura pearl in there, uh, as you can see. So you've got the darks in there uh, from that awesome centura pearl five color pack. All of that, £29 or $41 if you want to get your whole hands on that. Uh, and Debbie's just about to share with us the tools. Now, I absolutely love this self-healing cutting mat. I feel like it's magic, Debbie, this self-healing <laughs> cutting mat. So you're going to get that. You're also going to get the tweezers. You're going to get the craft knife. And you're going to get the replacement blades in there as well. It's a really awesome combination for you. £18 or $29. The mat, though, is... Do you not think it's magic, Debbie, that it just seals itself back over again? It is. That's what I love about a self-healing mat. It's absolutely fabulous. Uh, do you know, Jalora's just said the same thing I was thinking. I wish they made chopping boards like this. Uh, because, you, do you know, you've used them cut into your chopping board. It looks... It just looks horrible. But not with a self-healing craft mat. And it's a great craft mat. It's a brilliant size, so you can see the size size of it it actually just literally sits on the top of my uh, glass mat you've got on here though again uh, a 12 by 18 inch cutting mat you've got lots of grids on there so this is your inches side and if you flip that over you can see you've got your centimeter side and then you've got all your angles as well which is perfect not just for paper crafters but for your sewers too uh, so it's a great mat to have and it's very similar to the way we've got the crosshair in the middle as well and then you've got things like wouldn't be without it again. Another, it's like it's almost like a craft hero. 
tool hour this one this craft vault uh, because we've got our uh, craft knife and it's the straight edge and I said the straight edge because there's two different types there's a swivel one and then there's your straight one and that's what this is and you have those replacement blades and very simply I'm just going to show you how you would replace your blades you will unscrew the top and if I just hold that there for the second you just turn this around and then you just remove your blade and then pop your next blade in and then screw that back round to tighten it up and it's that easy to uh, do Joe. So yes, you're going to use, and you're going to use this quite a lot because this is a precision blade that is going to last a long time, but you've got that safety net of having those spare blades for when you need to replace it. But I'm going to give you a little warning. This is a craft knife. Please remember, craft knives are super sharp objects. So when you're using it, take care when you're using it because we don't want any um, blood and guts spilling everywhere. Right. So you've also... <laughs> <laughs> so that's like oh. a Sounds like a Jack the Ripper documentary. <laughs> you know what I'm saying it's that safety feature I just want to mention it because it is a super super sharp blade and I'm going to show you because when I use this now you're going to see and I'm using on here I've got my craft ruler now the craft ruler is one of our fabulous designs where it's a ruler but it's also got this med metal edge which is perfect for using with your craft knives but literally you'll see just how super sharp this is oops I've got, gone away from my craft now did you see that Joe then what are I, you like I didn't have a glass last night i promise you i had no glasses of wine last night we had the uh, yeah we had a, we can confirm we had a, both had a very early night didn't we uh, yes night, indeed <laughs> i went up yes. to bed at 20 past nine didn't i last night you did indeed oh, no. joe you went to bed even earlier than i did but look at that super super uh, sharp cut there but again using it if you want to use it you get that precision cut and you whether you're doing an inch a two inch or a three inch you can use and you've got your grids here to be able to use and all you're going to do is take your craft knife in into your, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, I don't put enough pressure down there. This is my carpal tunnel playing up today. I'm so sorry, Joe, because um, I nearly dropped my coffee this morning. I thought I was going to wake you up because my, my I coffee... Think, I think <laughs> my carpal, co carpal tunnel sounds quite fun. As in, uh, like, the name yes. of it. Do you know what it sounds like? It sounds like carpal karaoke. <laughs> so in my head, I'm like, carpal tunnel. I, I can oh, assure, I can assure you. That sounds like a great laugh. <laughs> In essence, it's actually not very good fun at all. It's but not good fun at all. It's it really one of those isn't. words that sounds way more fun than it really is. It's painful. It's painful is what it is. And I'm not the only one that suffers with it. Anybody who suffered with it will know what I mean. But I'm just a bit of a wuss and I don't want to have the operation to fix it. So I'm going to just, I'm just going to suffer until I have to. Uh, but what we've got here, Joe, is a precision craft knife, a safety top on the top to make it safe so you can carry it around in there. But can I just tell you as well, tweezers. And not oh. just one tweezer, four sets of tweezers. And you could use these for your brows as well as for your crafting, I how think. Do, how do you know that? Because somebody tells you that. Do you use yours for your brows? <laughs> I, might, I, might have had a, I might have used a, I might have had a quick pluck backstage <laughs> every once in a while. Uh, let me tell you, um, when I've had to use them, I've used my tweezers that's in my craft bag, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, right, Bet, you've got four different styles of tweezers. Uh, Bet, you've got that precision, and I know if you've ever watched Jan, you'll know that she uses her tweezers ever such a lot uh, to hold things. Do you know when you're doing heat embossing, these are going to be a perfect tool to have. Um, and you've got four different styles. Um, my lo I love the one that looks like a shovel. <laughs> <laughs> just that one it's got that lovely shovel feature to it you've got these super fine point ones here as well and then you've got these that squeeze from the handle which I absolutely love so there's four different types of tweezers there that do the job of what you need them to do let me put me um plastic sh uh, plastic shield back on there but four tweezers craft knife and a self-healing because you can see there's no marks on there where I've been using it no marks it's a self-healing mat with four sets of tweezers craft craft knife and the replacement blades as well that is a cracking deal to get all of that today on our craft vault it's amazing yes yeah, an absolute job. an absolute whopper of a deal that one 18 pounds or 29 dollars you can use your club inspired discount on top of that as well so you get what an, an almost another six dollars off that in the us uh, you'll get another three pounds sixty off of that in the uk which is awesome uh, makes it less than 15 pounds which is great great value uh, for some of our hero products i must remind you uh, about those plates because they are so so busy uh, remember what you're getting in there you're getting two of the clear plates and one of the plastic shims in there as well uh, 20 pounds or 30 dollars 
euros. Normally they're 9.99 each. However, today uh, you're buying two. We're sending you one totally free of charge. You got a third off there, which is absolutely brilliant. Uh, now, loads more to come still today. Myself and Debbie have got a masterclass. Why don't you tell it? Why don't you tell the people of the world what's coming up in our masterclass, Debbie? We are talking all about the pop-up elements, so the pop-up boxes, uh, whether it be the everyday collection or the Christmas collection. And I've got quite a few things planned. I'm hoping I can get through everything. Um, but yes, that's that, that's at one o'clock, Joe. Can I just have a quick, quick sell about this though? Don't forget these cutting plates and the plastic shim consumables that you, I'm telling you you would have. Don't forget these are cutting plates that are on both sides as well. Flip and rotate, longevity out of your plates, but they're a consumable part. A fantastic buy. You're getting three plates for the price of two. What a great bargain. Awesome. Really, really great deal there. £20 or $30. Uh, don't forget don't forget to check out your baskets uh, across on the website. Myself and Debbie will be back with you in an hour's time. And I'll be back with uh, Craig uh, for Second Chart Sunday a little later. And the second instalment of Craft Bowl as well. That will be up at 7pm UK time. Grab a cup of coffee. Grab some breakfast. Uh, do what you need to do. But make sure you are back here in an hour uh, to meet myself and Debbie back here for our masterclass with those awesome pop-up boxes. We'll see you then. Take care.